When he was inaugurated as Peru's president exactly one month ago, Ollanta Humala vowed to fulfill his campaign promise to improve the lot of his country's poor. One out of every three Peruvians lives in poverty, and despite Peru's 7% annual growth over the past four years, prosperity has not trickled down to the poor. This week, Peru's Congress gave Humala's cabinet an overwhelming vote of confidence after it vowed to pursue economic growth and reiterated its intention to bolster social programs. One way it hopes to reduce poverty is through a windfall profits tax on mining companies that will collect more than a billion dollars a year. The companies have already agreed to that. Peru is the world's number two copper producer and number six gold producer, and mining accounts for 60% of the country's export earnings. The price of gold has soared in the past few weeks amid the volatility on world stock markets, and Peru stands to reap the benefits. While investors have been pleased by Umala's appointment of a pro-market economic team, some are still fearful that Umala's social programs will affect economic stability. Investors usually like to be involved in markets where rules are respected. The government should be able to generate confidence so that investors realize that social programs will not affect them negatively. Social programs just represent a better redistribution of the resources of the public treasury. If the first month of the Umala administration has met with the wary approval of investors, its suspension of a U.S. financed program to eradicate coca, the base ingredient of cocaine, has caused concern among U.S. officials. The United Nations agency charged with fighting drugs says the number of hectares devoted to coca cultivation in Peru is now equal to those in Colombia. And this expert says the government will focus on interdiction but do little to control coca planting. In the last elections, about 10 people whose campaign may have been financed by drug trafficking were elected to Congress. This means that the drug traffickers may have allies inside Congress. Though the government says it is still committed to reducing coca cultivation, many coca growers have been agitating for the right to grow the plant because they lack other economic opportunities. Umala will need their continued support if he is to cement his early political gains. Roger Wilkerson, Al Jazeera.